My name is Joe Rogers. I'm an assistant professor at uh, Keck School of Medicine at USC in the Department of Stem Cell Biology and Regenerative Medicine. So, you know, I had a lot of really great professors in college and in graduate school and who really inspired me, who really made this science interesting. Um, and that's what I want to be when I'm here. Somewhere between my freshman and sophomore year in college, I had the opportunity to do research in a lab that was at John Carroll. Um, yeah, and that's when I basically just fell in love with doing research. And um, since that first um, experience, um, I've been doing research ever since, almost continuously. I went to graduate school at uh, Johns Hopkins University. I went to medical school there. Probably that was another great, you know, transformative um, experience in my life. A bunch of students that I met there, you know, sort of colleagues that I met there, are still my best friends ever. You know, I used to talk with them. They were at my wedding this summer. That's where, uh, starting my PhD work, I was uh, the first graduate student um, of a starting lab there. Um, my first advisor, Perry Puigser, and um, that was when I really started getting in interested in metabolism. The connection with my current work is one of the most interesting sort of consequences of diet regulation is size regulation. Um, how does energy control body size? How does it f become a factor in sort of determining the size of an organism? And so the most likely way it's doing that is by um, communicating with the stem cells. So the stem cells are basically these, these building blocks that drive your body to grow or to repair injuries. And um, how do stem cells incorporate metabolic signals into their decision to divide or to not divide and where to grow and what to grow? The goal of trying to identify what sort of instructs cells to do these things is um, you know, very clearly for um, therapeutic purposes and translational medicine. So if you understand the signals that are responsible for making more skin, then you, can, you, know, you could sort of engineer this to give to a burn victim to help them heal better. Or, or you, know, you can do this in tissue engineering, you can do this ex vivo, you can make skin in, in a you know, petri dish and then you know, transplant that onto people. Or you know, lots of different you know, type of um, therapeutic applications like that. Yes, yeah, so I'm a runner. Um, I've um, yeah, I've been a I've been a marathoner um, for uh, the past several years, and so you know, I did Boston Marathon a couple of years ago. So I was, um, I mean, it was a tremendous experience. Um, I've also been doing um, triathlons, um, you know, Ironman and, and things like that. So I'm a glutton for punishment. I'm also a gardener. I love the garden. So I, um, one of the main factors in looking for houses, does it have a place to garden? So I've, it's a nice sort of escape from um, science or the lab. I mean, this is a, a very exciting place. Coming here on the interview, that was abundantly clear. Um, the university has, um, you know, tremendous resources, but there, I think the leadership is applying them in very smart ways and they're investing in, you know, stem cell biology and neurogenesis. These are probably the, probably the two areas of biology which in the next 10, 20 years are just going to be what biology is. I really hope to be sort of an inspiring you know, professor, whether it's inspiring the students to enter research or I inspire them to go on to do whatever they want, you know, to be a teacher themselves or to be an author, or, you know, things like that. There's a, I think there's a lot of really interesting things about science and I, I am just, I just, I just love this and I hope to sort of convey that to the students.